Hey everyone, it's your host, Cyber, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be discussing about the Steam Deck and a new feature that you can basically use right now to unlock the more capabilities of this little handheld. Now, I had this more than a, more than a month, so hopefully you can understand how I feel and how I'm excited to share this with you because not many people understand you can actually do this. Now, if you don't know, Steam Deck is not relatively new to the to the modding community. There is a lot of projects out there that is specifically designed to change how you use your Steam Deck. And one of them are such as Decky Loader, Cryo Utilities, non-Steam Launchers, and so, so much more. Now, the new project that I want to, to, to show you all is a project called Unlock Refresh Rate. As a Steam Unlock Refresh Rate that is designed specifically for the Steam OS um, operating system for the Steam Deck. And I'm going to show you what this actually does. So what this actually does, if we go down here, I'm sorry if the, the, it looks too grainy. I This is the best camera that I have, um, and I could use my phone, but I would have to find a way to, to mount that, and unfortunately I don't want to do that. So we're going to we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go over to now performance, and you're going to see that if you pay, look, if you look very carefully, hopefully it focuses. I have about 70 hertz. It's at 70 hertz. I can change. I can change this all the way to 35. I can also change it all the way back to 60 if I wish, and it will go based on that. I can go all the way up to all the way down to 40, and it will go that way, or I can just go all the way to 70. Now this is really awesome because I know by default you cannot go higher than 60 hertz, and I've tried this and it's pretty noticeable. Now the only downside to this is that yes, it's going to consume your battery more because it's going to require more power in order to to achieve this. Now most games who that would very well on the Steam Deck that gets uh, at least 60 FPS or higher with VSync off, you're going to see that 70 FPS significantly, and I have no idea how significant it will impact your hardware uh, uh, when it comes to stress. And reliability. So I want to say, take this, use this at your own risk, and ensure that you know you have replacement parts in case one day your display dies. Now that's not what may not happen at all, but with all with all due respect, always take everything with a grain of salt because anything can anything can happen. So in order to have to install this, we'll need to head over into into desktop mode. In order to do that, press the Steam button, deck, Steam button on your Steam Deck. Head over to Power, go down and click Switch to Desktop. Well, this is going to enter the Steam Deck, the Steam Deck's desktop environment, and this is what we're going to need. Now, all you, here's, here's our desktop, and here's what you need to do. You need to head over. You'll need to head over to your desired browser. I use Microsoft Edge because I have it saved. Now, this, I'm going to have a link of this in the description, but I'm going to show you guys that I actually can do this. So I'm going to head over and click this link. I'll have this link in the description, as I said, so you can definitely do it. And this gives you a goes to GitHub that goes to the Steam Deck Refresh Rate Unlocker. This is the, one of the easiest tools to actually install, so you may want to pay attention and not mess this up. Now, I've already done this, so I, I, I don't, I'm don't i not going to go into more depth, but well, here's how I'm going to show you how to do it. So you scroll down to you, so you hit a bunch of instructions, and you will see it down here. Hopefully, oh, camera focus, come on, focus. All right, there you go. So it gives you a bunch of information, what does this do, change log, et cetera, et cetera, and the, what you need. So the first thing you'll need is you need to create a sudo password. If you, when you, if you haven't made a sudo password, all you need to do is head over to the Steam button, <clears throat> head over to System, and then click Console. Now in the console, you'll need to now put the, now you need to put P A S S WD and it's gonna and you and you press R2 to confirm. Now it's gonna ask you for to put a password and when you put a password, do not worry if you cannot see it. Um, I'm sorry if it's still blurry. I I can't really do much beyond this. I mean I can put it farther, 
So hopefully that actually actually that actually how it does help. So I do apologize if it's been blurry for the things for this entire video. So once you click pat P A when you once you enter that and you press enter and then it, it will ask you for a pseudo password. Put your pseudo password. I recommend you putting a four digit password. You don't have to you don't have to do anything else. Uh, it would be like either one two three four or one two three four five. How you can put any kind of length you want. I would just make it much more simpler by only using four digits and element. Don't and use it accordingly so no one ever makes changes to your Steam Deck without the password. Um, so once you do that, once you confirm it again, you should it will tell you if the password is successful. It will tell you password was successfully was was, was submitted successfully. Now you can close this, and what we'll need to do is head over to the installation steps. The installation steps are the pretty easiest. So I didn't really read most of my stuff because when I did it, I just said yellow it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So you will see. I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna zoom this this page up. There we go. I'm gonna zoom it by this one. Um, so we're gonna see this. It's gonna have a clone GitHub repo. So what you'll need to do is you will need to copy all this, all this right here. Essentially, if I'm if you're using the Steam Deck, it's recommended just doing this way. Let's see. I, I did this before, and I, now it's just another one. I want to do it. And it's okay. So you get the gist. So just copy this. I did this before. With it. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's so weird because I did this on my Steam Deck. And I didn't have to use a keyboard. So give me a moment. Alright, let's copy this. Alright, we're just going to copy that. It's fine. We're gonna copy it, and if you want to, you can also do this. You can also post it here if you want to get rid of the the space just in case. Just that. Make sure that you click it, and then what you'll need to do is just copy it. This is very hard to do because I have the camera, so forgive me. So now copy it. And then now you'll head over to your Steam, to your Steam Deck start menu. Go head over to System and open Console. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to input this this into into here. As you can see, it, you can't see because it it's all white, but usually that's how it is. So then we're gonna go here. We're going to try to get rid of... There we go. Now it's here. Now all you're going to do is click Enter. So usually this usually... Well, this actually happened. See, the reason it, this is going to actually do anything because it's like it syncs. It's I, I pause. So if I... Hold on. If I do this... If I free paste it, because usually this works for the first time. But as I said, it is... For me, I'm using... Uh, the, the you know the onboard controls so it's going to be a little bit weird so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and we're going to show you see and we're going to go and delete that and put jit now i the reason i think it's not going to work for me because i have already have it installed so it doesn't need to do anything um just make sure that just make sure that when you do copy this use a mouse and keyboard it is way more easier than this. I doing it on a Steam Deck. I did it on my Steam Deck and then did it flawlessly. But I'm pretty sure that it's it is working. It's probably because I already have it installed, so there's no reason for me to do it. So once you actually do the first part, you'll need to now head over to the second part and you'll need to execute that script. So the first script, the first one is basically copying the the initial um setup. So you have to copy go all the way to C D to all the way from here. Copy this, and then put it into your into, into your ter, um, con, into your console terminal, and then it should download everything. If it asks you for a password, put a password in, and boom. Now you'll need to execute the script. So you want to do the, this? This is the easiest part. Is just you need to go and copy this. Head over to head over and open a new terminal. 
If you already had the terminal open from previously, you can also keep it open and just have, hover it down, just minimize it. You don't have to close it. I just closed it because it stays inside. I, I never did it that way. I just did it. I just did, 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 did on the same screen as my first window, simply because it was already in that directory. So then, once you click, you can paste. And then what's going to ask you is going to ask you for your pseudo password. Now I already did it, so I don't have to really do it. Once it access your pseudo password, it will initialize and install and initialize the installer, and it will in start installing it. It will ask you well, during this process if you want to, if you want to like, um, you know, add a desktop thing. It will also ask you what kind of hurts you're doing. So it, yeah. So basically, it will be this window. So we're going to execute this this window. And we're going to execute this window. We're going to put our password. I'm going to put my password in real quick. All right, there we go. So there's, it will ask you these options, hopefully. Focuses, there we go. So it'll give you these options, except excluding the uninstall and the exit. Um, you can choose either way, the, what's best comfortable for you. I've put specifically, I chose um, 30 to 70. I think I chose also 40 after, but I'm not 100% sure. But I originally first to limit, first limit to 30 to 70 hertz. I set mine, I believe, to 40, 70. At first, I changed, I had this, but then I selected to this. And boom. Once you do that, all you have to do is reboot your, your Steam Deck, and you will see a game mode. It will be pretty easily. And if you want to install it, you can choose uninstall, and it will choose it will revert any changes you have made. Um, and then if you need to do, reinstall it, you can just you know go about here and boom, you're bada bing bada boom. Um, the only problem, the only thing that I have to tell you all is that if you're going to plan to use this, just be aware of the, some of the risks that can potentially happen if you use this on your Steam Deck. One. The Steam Deck was only originally the display was only mainly originated originally created with a 60 hertz um, p um, refresh rate. So anything higher than than 60 FPS may actually do more harm than good. Now this may not actually initially break your screen or per se, but it will. It may is there is a 50 50 percent possibility that it may degrade the lifespan of your entire display. So Unless if you're comfortable with doing this, then it is okay to do it. I've done it. I, I mean, it's okay because by the time this thing dies, I'll probably not be able to use it anymore. I'll probably be on something else and back to my main PC because most of the time I play my main PC than this. But only when I really want to play on, on this. But beyond that, it's pretty freaking amazing. You will notice on when you play games that run very smoothly on the on the Steam Deck, you're going to notice it's going to be at 70 FPS, and you're going to notice it very well. Now, on emulators, if we're talking about emulators, um, if we're talking about emulators, emulators may vary, because depending on what emulation you're doing and depending on how it's set up, you're only going to see 60 frames per second. Uh, unfortunately, I've tried going high. I tried fixing it. I, I tried changing it, and certain things I couldn't do because to get to get it over 60. But that was completely fine because you know what? It doesn't really need 70 FPS, anyways. The other downside to this to this is that it's going to consume much more power. So if you're if you are more of a battery life conservator and you want to conserve as much battery life as possible, I don't think that this unlocked refresh rate is for you unless you're going to be keeping it plugged your team that plugged in that it become more useful for you because simply you can just play your games at 70 fps and not worry about anything more if you find this video very informative i know that this isn't the best video that you could probably find a better video to explain to this but i'm hoping that i was able to be an assistance and help you now unfortunately i would uninstall this but simply i don't I don't want. I didn't want to go through the whole thing again. I was more smart about it, and I think that like it the most. It was the best self-explained explanatory video out there. If you want to, if if you want more videos, let me know. The next idea I should try to show you guys on how to do. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.